Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Today we are heading out for a two night, three day trip to Temecula, California. It's going to be a family trip with my family, my immediate family. We haven't gone on vacation on a trip as a family since I was a kid. I went with my mom and my brother on a trip to Quebec two years ago but my sister didn't go, her kids didn't go, and her husband. So this time it's going to be the entire family. We got a nice little place in Temecula, Airbnb. Uh, that has a pool so the kids can go swimming. It's summertime so hopefully it won't be too hot. I actually go to Temecula pretty often. I once or twice a month. So I want to take you with us on this trip uh, and I will show you all my favorite spots. Let's go! Temecula is about 85 miles southeast of Los Angeles. The drive is about an hour and 20 minutes without traffic. Every time we're in Temecula, we always pay a visit to a Lay coffee shop to pick up some freshly baked French baguettes and croissants. Located in Old Town Temecula, Lay coffee shop is a family-owned cafe that serves up traditional French breakfasts and the best pastries in town. If you get the baguettes, make sure you ask for the butter. All their ingredients are high quality and they use imported French cheese and butter. Right next door to Lake Coffee Shop is one of my most favorite antique shops in the world, 4th Street Antiques. I have never left the store without purchasing something. You can find amazing local treasures from this consignment style shop. The prices here are very reasonable compared to many of the vintage shops I've been to. Next stop is a must-visit spot in town, the Press Espresso. The Press Espresso serves up artisanal coffee and handcrafted specialty lattes. They have lots of drink options that other coffee shops don't have. All the syrups they use are scratch-made. I often get their brown sugar caramel latte or their seasonal strawberry shortcake latte. They have a beautifully chic interior, a welcoming staff, delicious coffee and tea drinks, and a nice front patio to sit and relax to enjoy your coffee. The owner, Yasmin, is definitely the ultimate girl boss that I highly admire and respect. I highly recommend coming here for your caffeine needs when you're in Old Town Temecula. We had some time to kill before meeting up with my family, so we went to hit up some of the popular wineries in town. This is South Coast Winery. This is a very commercial winery that most tourists visit when they come to Temecula. Tastings here are pretty steep at around $27 per person for a five tastings. Next, we visited Monte de Oro Winery. They have a beautiful outdoor patio with a fountain and a scenic vineyard view. For $20, you get six one ounce tastings from their tasting menu. The servers here are very knowledgeable about wine and give very generous pours. Botea Winery is a pretty new winery in Temecula. They brand themselves as a luxury winery with a more upscale and sophisticated wine tasting experience. In other words, it's fancy. Their indoor tasting lounge and terrace is reserved for members only, so for regular guests, you get to taste in their outdoor patio deck with a peaceful vineyard view. The wine tasting here runs a little more than most of the wineries here at $26 for a wine flight of 4 sample wines. Finally, it's time to check in our Airbnb. The house is a beautiful 4 bedroom house on a 5 acre property in a more quiet and secluded hills of Temecula. It has a billiards table, a spacious living room area, a large kitchen and dining room, as well as a beautiful backyard with pool and outdoor lounge. It was a perfect entertainment house for a large group. The rooms are spacious and there are plenty of bathrooms for large groups or family. I will put a link to this Airbnb in the description box in case you are interested in staying here. 
We spend a lot of time in the backyard pool because of the kids. It's nice that it has a jacuzzi and an amazing view overlooking the hills and neighboring vineyards and citrus groves. Check out all the Asian drinks and snacks we brought to share. Yes, you may call me the snack queen. After settling in, we decided to go grab an early dinner at a Shanghai restaurant in town called Chef K. How is that chicken wing? I will admit, this restaurant has surprisingly authentic Chinese food. Almost all the dishes we got were really good. Their xiaolong bao was tasty and so is their Shanghai stir fried rice cakes. After we got back from dinner, the kids wanted to get in some pool time. It was nice because during the evening, the sun was still out, but it wasn't as hot as it is in the daytime. We were also able to take a nice evening stroll around the property. Our first night here consisted of a ramen themed board game that the kids insisted to play and some major butt kicking in billiards team tournaments. That pretty much sums up our first day of our Temecula family trip. Good morning! Today is the second day of our trip and uh, we are going to get brunch in Old Town and then after that we're going to a tasting, a wine tasting at Queen's Winery. We have a membership there. So we get to go to their cellar room and after that we're going to check out Sugarland Farm um, and they have a lot of cute uh, farm animals uh, so the kids can I think hopefully pet them and look at cute animals. Um, yeah, so let's get our day started. Before heading to brunch, we wanted to check out some shops in Old Town. Another one of my favorite shops here is Temecula Lavender Company. Yes, it is a store that sells everything made of lavender. If you love lavenders, this is the store for you. They carry everything from lavender soaps to lavender honey. Then we went to check out the Temecula Olive Oil Company and tried out some flavored olive oils and balsamic vinegars. Brunch was at 1909 Temecula. It's a cafe that serves American food with a Californian flair, meaning a lot of dishes were fusions from different cultures. I highly recommend their crab and shrimp empanadas and Korean fried chicken. The tikka masala poutine was also delicious. My soft shell crab egg benny was unique and very tasty. After brunch, we shop some more at the House of Jerky, where you can find all kinds of jerkies from rare animals and a variety of hot sauces. It was also fun to check out some of the boho clothing shops in town. Leaving the kids at the house with my mom and brother, some of us went to a few more wineries. Cellar Room at Wayne's Winery provides a unique tasting experience for their premium wines. This member-only tasting includes a flight of reserved and limited production red wines paired with meats and cheeses. After the tastings, we grabbed the kids and took them to Sugar Plum Zoo. It was my first time here and surprisingly, it was a lot of fun. 
Sugar Plum Zoo sits on an 8-acre hilltop along Lonnie's Chocolate Shop with a cafe and wine tasting room. They house rescued and rehomed animals. Admission is $10 for adults and $5 for children. Included in your visit are admission to the zoo and samples of their chocolate in the chocolate shop. They also have gelato for sale in their shop. If you have kids, I would highly recommend taking them here since there's not much to do for kids in this area. long wine filled day so my sister served us some kung fu tea to help us relax and detox a bit. And that pretty much sums up our second day in Temecula. Day of our trip, so we will be checking out of the Airbnb and then we're probably going to head to Old Town Temecula to make up some breakfast. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my vlog and I will see you next time. After checkout, we went back to Old Town for some Cuban breakfast at Havana Kitchen. After that, we visited another of my favorite antique shops called The Barnyard. The store features shabby chic, vintage, rustic cottage styled items. That's a wrap for my Temecula family trip. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.